Hello, my most amazing artist. So today we are going to be drawing a nice spring fox. So you're gonna go ahead and take your paper and make sure it is tall today, like so. Now, if I wanted it wide, it would be this way, but not today. Today it's gonna to be tall. And you need some stuff for this project. You need a pencil, you need a eraser, and you need a black marker. If you don't have a black marker, a black crayon or black color pencil will do too. So I'm going to start with my pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of this paper right here in the middle. I know it's kind of hard to see because the camera kind of cuts off the top and bottom of my paper, but I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to place my finger there. And then I'm gonna scoop my, my finger down just a little bit to about right there. Now right here is where I'm gonna draw the nose of this fox. And it's just gonna be a semicircle. So you start by drawing a line horizontal and then a curved line right under it. So a semicircle is a half circle. It's gonna look like that. Now I know it's strange to start with the nose when we draw something or someone but for today, it's gonna to help us figure out where to put the rest of the features of the fox. It's gonna help us with our proportion. So now that I have the nose there, I'm going to put my fingers on the sides of the paper in the middle. So this would be, like if there was a line here, this would be the middle, okay? And I'm gonna scoop my finger in two fingers. See there's two fingers there from the edge of the paper? And then right next to it, I'm gonna draw a zigzag line, about three of them. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm placing two fingers there so I know where to start. Okay. And I'm gonna draw a short zigzag line. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take the bottom of the zigzag line and it's gonna come down to about the middle of the nose. So it's a curved line that goes the middle of the nose and it stops. I'm gonna do it again on the other side. That's just a little bit off. So we're working in pencil, so if we need to erase anything, and we will need to erase today, then we can go back and fix it. All right, so now for the rest of my fox, I'm gonna find about the middle from here to here, and that's about here. I don't wanna draw it too high up because then I won't have room for his ears. So about right here, make a little dot. And what I'm gonna do is draw a curved line to this spot and a curved line to this spot. Now, if it doesn't look even, you can go ahead and erase it and fix it until it gets to how you like. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I've got the shape of his head. It looks a little weird right now, but we're gonna go ahead and draw the ears. Let me scoop my paper down a little bit. And the ears are gonna kind of fit in the corners right here. So the ears are gonna go up and down. See how it's kind of going to the corner? So it's like a triangle, but instead of straight lines, it's a curved line up, and the curved line back down. Then you draw the inside of the ear, and do the same thing on the other side. Up, then back down, and the inside of the ear. Okay, so now it's starting to look like a fox. We're gonna draw a line from here to the nose. So it's gonna go here to here, but it's a curved line. One on this side, and one on this side. It goes right to the top of the nose. Now the eyes we're gonna draw, they're kind of ovals, but they're following this line right here. One there. And one there. All right, you can also go ahead and add that little light reflection right there. So the next step is to draw the body of the fox. So I'm gonna start kind of underneath the eye. 
I'm just gonna draw a curved line down. And again on this side, a curved line down. So that's our fox drawing. Now we're going to draw to add the texture. But we're gonna make some guidelines first that we'll be erasing later. So you're gonna make sure you draw this part very, very lightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here and I'm kind of following this line here. I'm gonna draw about five or six curved lines. So see how it's gonna be like that? I'm following that line there to draw some more lines. So I have four there, you might have more or less. Don't draw too many or it's gonna make the next step a little difficult for you. Now I'm also gonna draw some lines that follow this line right here. When I get to the eye, I'm just gonna jump over it. So I did one, two, three, four. I want it to be even, so I wanna make sure I do four over here too. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing, making some guidelines here. And they're gonna follow this line that we drew at the bottom of the fox's face. Okay, so now I've got my marker out, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in some colored spaces, but I'm also going to add some texture, and I'm gonna make texture by drawing lines. So let me show you what I mean. See where this line is right here? I'm gonna start right here, and I'm just gonna make these short little lines. And I'm gonna use that line to guide me. See how it goes in a perfect line? I'm gonna keep doing that on this line. And on this line. And one more. Now we can go ahead and color this nose in too. When I colored the eyes in, I went ahead and made the corners a little bit pointier because I thought that looks more like a fox to me. Okay, I'm gonna add some more texture on these lines, but they are gonna go across this way. Okay, more lines like this down here. And last but not least, we're going to add a bunch of lines inside this outer part of the ear. And I'll go ahead and outline everything now too. Now that we have finished adding all the texture, grab your eraser and we're gonna erase all those guidelines because we don't need those anymore and it's gonna make it look nice and neat without them. And as long as you drew lightly, this should be pretty easy to erase. Now that we have erased the lines, make sure you get all the eraser dust off. We're going to go ahead and store this for next week. So if you are at home, we're gonna take a picture of this and click the check mark on Seesaw. And then I want you to put your art away somewhere safe so we can finish it next week. You know, a lot of people tell me that my dog, Sky looks like a fox. What do you guys think?